probably do a brief presentation, but this is going to sell out. I bought this for my brother Darren two weeks ago because he had a, a, a big giant limb on his shed and he had no way to get it off. He got it, he cut it off. You know where it is now? It's at his neighbor's house. His neighbor is using it and he's in love with it. Why? It gives you the reach. It's got five flex today and look at the price. I paid $129 for my pole saw. You're getting this for $99 today, and it's on FlexPay this day only. All right, let's get started with our show. This is our fall kind of cleanup show. And in fall, you know, you got all kinds of things you're trying to take care of. Well, we decided one of the things that we would do is that we would do sort of a little last minute sort of a sale on a really, really good product uh, called Spray and Grow. My good friend Carrie Mobley is here with me. And what I, whoa, the wind's blowing here. What I love about this, this configuration is you're gonna get two bottles of the Spray and Grow. One is you're going to get the, uh, the actual uh, Bill Spray and Grow, which is the micronutrients, the original, and you get fertilizer to go with it. This you spray on the plants, this you put, you know, in, On the plants in as the, well. Oh, you do them both like yeah, that. Yeah, both with foliar feeding. So you feeding. spray it both on, and we'll tell you how you do it, but the price down there is not gonna last. Where is it? There it is. It's $20.95, wow. stock up now. I know it's late in the season, but maybe you've got an indoor garden, maybe you've got indoor plants, uh, maybe you just wanna get it to have it for late season. It's ideal, but for a $20 bill, this is awesome. Welcome. I, I didn't realize that it was gonna be at this price. No, I didn't either. And I will tell you, for $20. those of you, I mean, we have sold so many bottles of Spray and Grow and Bill's Perfect Fertilizer over the years here at HSN. So if you are a lover, if you're a fan, and you see this price point, I recommend you pick this up. Here's the thing. This is a very unique formula. What we have is complete nutrition for your plants. And like I said, I mean, this is late in the season for a lot of people, but the yeah. truth is, for many of us in this country, especially here in Florida, where it's a dry heat, we're growing stuff. <laughs> We're we growing, are growing stuff. stuff all year here. But what we love is that at this price point and with no shelf life, Spray and Grow and Bill's Perfect Fertilizer is the complete nutrition. Let me tell you all about it, okay? First of all, it's a concentrate. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two teaspoons of Spray and Grow. You're gonna mix it in with some warm water. You know, any household sprayer that you have would be great. We do have some power sprayers that I think we can talk about yeah, in a bit. talk about that in a minute. Uh -huh. You let it sit for about 15 minutes, and then you add just a tiny bit of Bill's Perfect Fertilizer, and here's what you do. Spray it. You spray it. Yeah. Right on the flowers, right on the fruits, right on the vegetables, because it's totally non-toxic. I, like I like the power sprayer. By the way, this yes. is available, and my producer uh, will pull up that item number for you, but this, trust me, I would much rather do that <laughs> then have to pump, 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 pump. And that's what makes yep. it so great. And you can use this for other things too, but this is the gallon sprayer, which is available. Uh, and and uh, there's also a smaller power version, which is a 32 ounce, but I would go for the gallon. Uh, and by the way, it's the same item number that's on the screen. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Carrie, but I always have to no, tell everybody, I, no, listen, this is such a good idea to get because Guy and I you're going to use fans. this. Well, you're yes. going to use this everywhere. Well, and the, yeah, on your grass. What we say is anything that's green and grows. So your shrubs, your indoor plants, um, it works through something called foliar feeding. And foliar feeding is something totally unique to the world. Basically, if you were to look at a plant up close, there are absolutely tiny little pores on every part of your plant. The same thing that, you know, your skin basically has. When you spray those micronutrients right onto the plant, it soaks it in through the stomata, which are those little pores. It's up to 10 times more effective than feeding through the roots. And that's why farmers have been using foliar feeding for years and years and years. So you can see those micronutrients soaking in and what you're gonna get is more, bigger, and better. More fruits, more vegetables, more flowers. Bigger flowers, bigger fruits and vegetables, sweeter even. Let's and these, show everybody, yes, oh my gosh, I know, I know. Show we have them. had thousands of our customers, a lot of them might be you, Look sending it. in their pictures. That's ridiculous. Mums, this is the season of mums. If you pick up a mum at your supermarket because you love that fall feel, you can take this, plant it in the ground, you spray and grow on it, and now this will come back year after year. Potted plants, indoor plants, I mean, a picture says a thousand words, and I have to tell you, our customers. Oh my, what are those? Look at those the size tomatoes. of tomatoes. This is one harvest. I mean, wow. and this is used in every single zone, no matter what part house. of the country. Do you not, wouldn't you not love to live in a house that looked like that? I want to live. Oh my God. My house is pretty darn good because I'm a gardener I and I use spray are. and grow. But, but if you spent any money this summer, yeah. and this is not what it's looking like for you, 
it's time to make the spray and grow change, especially because if you're gonna do fruits and vegetables, here's without and here's with. And it goes on and on. We've got peonies that are absolutely stunning. Roses. Are you getting this many blooms on one rose plant? Wow. This is a zinnia plant. I mean, zinnias are not there? expensive. Look, there's, there's a, a human in child there. in there. You can't <laughs> even see it. Totally non-toxic. And I have to tell you, this again, this is a house plant. But I want everybody to know real quick, this is guaranteed. Yeah. to the bottom of the bottle. Now, HSN offers, you know, a guarantee where you can send it back, sure. you know. Spray and grow, we take it a step further. What we yeah. say is, you can use this entire bottle, and if it's not everything that I'm promising you that it is, with nothing in the bottle, you can send it back and get a full refund. How it's can we do that? Yeah. Because it works. it works. I promise you, know this is works. more, bigger, better. Well, you have to understand that Bill Muscoff, who created this product, you know, he used to be in the industrial farming business. And he was selling this stuff to people that made their living off their farms, and he created it for that. And now it's, it's available for home use. It has all those micronutrients, everything that your plants need, but it makes sense to put it on the plant. It's almost like when we put lotion on our skin, and it makes our skin come to life. It's the same thing. We're just gonna keep showing you pictures because, like I said, it's unbelievable. You invest a lot of time, in a garden, you want to see it pay off. This is the way to do it. And by the way, many of these that we show you is the before and afters are without spray and grow and with spray and grow. You should see some of those pictures. It's crazy. Oh, yeah, for sure. And by the way, these are normal human beings on planet Earth. These aren't horticulturists. <laughs> these aren't master gardeners. These are people just like you who might have bought two plants, look at the, yeah, tried look at one it. without spray and grow look and one difference. with. This is still great, it's still beautiful, but if you're gonna invest even three or four or five dollars on a plant, don't you want the most? Right. What Spray and Grow does, what these micronutrients do, is they bring every plant to its fullest potential. Look at, look at. What? That's the, is that, remember that? That's from the movie Cocoon, by no, the way. No, it's not. You remember the movie Cocoon? <laughs> yeah, that's one of those big things that was in the pool. Look at. Yes, oh my, is and that so the expands the season. <gasps> okay, look guess it, look what? It, look at what? Okay, so let's think about Christmas. <laughs> if, you, if you buy a Christmas tree from, you know, one of those little stands, yeah. and you bring it home and you spray, spray, spray and grow, it on your tree. you will get longevity out of that, that cut tree like you've never Needles seen. Needles will last longer. The, yes, the, exactly. The, because remember, it makes everything more vibrant. It makes the, the like fruits and stuff taste better. It makes, it'll make things smell better. It does all that. It makes it healthier, so it produces what it's supposed to produce. Right, I mean. Well, look at how beautiful that is. Isn't this gorgeous? And I oh know that as we're all looking towards fall and we're looking towards the holidays, we're trying to justify why we're gonna buy gardening products. As a gardener, I tell you, you're not gonna be able to find a better price on Spray and Grow. It's never going to expire. And yeah. it's a concentrate, right? So this, even this bottle is going to last you all the way through next season, and then into the season after this. You're only gonna use two teaspoons. I promise you, you will not go wrong by getting this product. Everybody that I know that I've spread the message to, yeah. they have fallen in love, and it's as simple as doing well, this. And, and guys, this is the best price for the, for the combo, because we give you the fertilizer and the original spray and grow. All you do is spray it on. Now, let me tell you something else that's wonderful. If you have an herb, indoor herb garden, and a lot of people do, one of the wonderful things about spray and grow is you spray it right on the herbs. You spray it on your basil, you spray it on your oregano, you spray it on your cilantro. I mean, you know, it, because it's not toxic. Right. Now, obviously, you're gonna wash your, you wash everything off when you harvest it and you clean it, but it doesn't have any toxins in it. So it's these natural in ingredients. So you don't have to worry about eating and digesting it, even if a little gets in there. It's not toxic, it's not harmful to humans. It, it just helps the plants look at these Look at freaking this. tomatoes. And everybody knows that homegrown tomatoes wow. taste the best. Yeah. I don't know if everybody realizes, but when you go to the supermarket and you buy tomatoes, they have been ripened using gases in the truck on the way to the supermarket. So when you grow your own, they're going to be juicier, they're going to be sweeter. But what Spray and Grow makes sure is that they're also bigger. You're getting more, bigger, and better. It yeah. intensifies the sugar content yeah. of all of your plants. Oh my gosh, stuff is so sweet. Hey, you wanna go to the phones? What, yes. Let's say hi to Mary in Louisiana. Hi, Mary. Hello. Hi, darling, how are you? <laughs> Doing great, thank hey, you. Hey, Mary, do you use Spray and Grow? I definitely have, and let me tell you that my plants are begging for more. Ooh time to stock up, Mary. <laughs> 
stock up. And by the way, you <laughs> use it once about every two yeah. weeks. Yeah. So it's not a huge commitment. It's super no. easy hey, to do. Hey, Mary, how's it working out, though? What, what do you love about Spring Girl? Tell me how it works out for you. Well, to tell you the truth, I had some what looked like very sick plants. Yeah. And as soon as I got it, I started spraying, and it just perked up and grew yeah. three times as big as <laughs> bigger than the normal yeah. size. Move to it. You gotta you gotta move to a different place because your plants are getting too big. <laughs> it, it is. It's crazy. I had the, Mary. I had the same problem with. Um, I was trying to grow mint, and and I live in. You know, we were here in Florida, and I was. I had this little poor little pathetic like mint bush or whatever. I sprayed it on. It like in a few weeks it was double the size and I'm like this stuff works right? Well, oh, it, it's so true. I mean, I can't say enough about it because the um, there are some products that just don't work, but I this know. is fabulous. No, it's and it's so easy to use. Hey, Mary, thank you so much for calling. Uh huh. Have she a, said goodbye. Yep. Have a wonderful yep. day. I I love spray and grow. And yeah. here's the thing. I mean, this is not something that you're going to find in any fertilizer. No. There are macronutrients, which you're going to get in your fertilizer. And then there's yeah. micronutrients. Bill Muskoff is the one oh that realized how love valuable the these micronutrients yeah. are. So you're not going to be able to get this anywhere else. It's totally unique. Yep. There's nothing else like it. You can get it in two places. Hey, here. That's right and sprayandgrow.com. Our price here on Rabbit. HSN the is best. better. $5.24 uh, on FlexPay as well. Kerry, great I job. I love it. Thank, Thank you, so you. Much. Happy Thanks, gardening, darling. everybody. All right, all right. Coming up in just a bit. And uh, when we started, my man Dan, my producer, said, Guy, we have about 500. He just told me we have less than 400. Now, I have never, ever seen a pressure washer the 1750 at this low a price. It is $109.95. If you don't own a pressure washer by now, you need to get one. If you just wash your car, yeah, it's fantastic. I never have to ask Danny to wash my car because he uses the pressure washer, he loves it. But you can get the grime off the sidewalk, you can clean your garbage cans, you can clean your house, your picture windows, you can clean everything, and you can do it with 1,750 pounds per square inch of pressure. I'll tell you, it's a great deal. That's coming up, and again, very limited. I am down to 375 of these available if you want to pick it up. All right. Also, how many pole saws do I have, Dan? I don't have many of these either, do I? Where's Dan? I got less than 400 of this of our pole saw as well. All right. Let me tell you what I love about it. First of all, I, I own this. I own the two-in-one. You know, we, we do just a pulse saw and then we do just a chainsaw. This is the two in the one. And the reason that I bought this, and I bought mine about three years ago, is that I like to use it as a handheld chainsaw, but I also, more than anything else, use it as a pulse saw to trim branches that are taller than me. I absolutely love it. This is it right here, okay? Uh, it only weighs about 12 pounds. It's lightweight and portable. It has a, a squishy comfort grip. Here it is set up as a pulse saw. When you want to use it as a chainsaw, you simply disconnect here and you add the handle, which is down here, and now it just becomes a regular chainsaw. What do we love about this? Well, first of all, it's on sale. It's $30 off. It's $99.95, and I only say that because a lot of people are like, eh, you know, I don't want to spend too much on a, on a, on a power tool if I'm not going to use it that much. Because let me, I'll be honest, you're not going to use this every day. You probably use this a couple times a month. But when season comes and you're trimming up your branches or you get those big hanging branches that are covered in ice this winter and you can cut them down with this and all you gotta do is plug it in and it turns on every time. No pull starting, no gas, no oil. You just oil the chain. It's a, it's a, a ten, is it a 10 or an 11 inch uh, chain on this one, Pete? Yes, this is a 10 inch chain. So you'll be able to trim most branches and small trees with this. It even articulates on an angle so you can lay its weight on a branch. Look at that. That dude didn't even get on a ladder. And there it is as a handsaw. Let's go and check with my friend Peter Kilcollin. Let me put on my protective glasses, Pete. Yeah. Because I know you're going to be doing some cutting. Let's get right to it. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, good, bro. Hot over here with that sun on our back, this huh? Is, I mean, there's some warmth. A little bit of little warmth. <laughs> All right. What do you right love? Here. What are you? I, I told you, I just bought this for my brother Darren about three weeks ago. Because awesome. He has a house in Vermont, which I'm going to this weekend because yes. I'm on vacation. A big branch landed on his shed, and it was too oh. big for him to get it off, to get the thing off. He said, I brought it up there. It was perfect. No, it really is. Because the great thing is, I mean, number one, it's two in one. You're getting a handheld chainsaw. You're also getting that pole saw. So you don't have to decide. But let's get to some cutting, guy. I know you want to see how we can use this to cut. I mean, I have been 
super impressed with the way this can go through limb after limb. And look what you're noticing about this. The thing I notice the most is as I'm going through that branch, and that's a good maybe four inch in diameter, that I'm not fighting that saw. If you've never used a handheld chainsaw, you can do this. If you've never used a pole saw, you're going to love it. Easy to use. Remember, all we're doing is adding our extension cord and we're set to go. This one makes it even simpler with that um, automatic, or I should say, no tools needed for the chain tensioning. What happens is after use, maybe the chain gets a little loose, then you're able to tighten it up properly and you're set to go. This has so many safety features on yeah. this guy. So for anyone out there that's newer to chainsaws or thinking about it, this is the way to go. Let me in. <laughs> Just, you gotta let me add it. I will. I, will. I love we this We have thing. a safety switch over here. You have to hit that safety button before you can hit the trigger. If you just hit the trigger, nothing happens. Guy, I don't know if you know this on this one. Yeah. This is great. This hand guard right here that when you're using is right. great. If you take that hand guard, click that in that out position right there, yeah. it will not it work. It locks it up. Even with this safety switch. Yep. So if you have to put this down or get away from it for a second, you can do that and it will not work. When it's time to use it again, Lock it click in. that back in place. So let guy, it, if you want to try a few cuts. Not the saw. Yeah, I love yeah. this. Now, as, I, as Peter said, this is how you use it in the handheld. Um, right. um, 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 style, but I, I use it more as a pole saw than everything else. But when you're just doing, you know, firewood or stuff like that, yeah, it's certainly ideal. cutting firewood. Yep. Or maybe you have a downed limb already. It's definitely the way to go. But I think the nice thing is to have both. It's two in one. But look at guy using that. There's no vibration that's keeping that saw or, or making it uncomfortable or almost out of control. It's smooth. Look at that, you did a nice little thin cut well, right there. I want people to see that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick these up and show you these pieces that I did to give you an idea of the control of this saw. Now, when you can right. cut something like that, and Look basically that. I just neat. made some coasters, <laughs> which is fantastic how pretty those are, right? You can do I, it. I mean, you can do this yourself. That's the kind of control you have. Uh, Dan, how many left? 300? Dan said, all right, so we started with 425. We got just a little over 300 left. This will sell out. If you, I would get it. I would get it quickly. So, guy, hold that. Yeah. Let's start on because now you're using it as a handheld chainsaw. This might be. Is this the best part, guy, that we can go? It's awesome. Once you learn how to do this, it's going to take you about 10 seconds yeah. to go from that handheld chainsaw to the pole saw. So here All it is. I'm going to do right here is open this up. This is our click and lock technology. So I open that up. Boom. Now I move that apart. So I'll put the one end of the saw right there. Now what we're doing is adding the pole in the middle. Watch. Look at this. I snap that together, lock, lock that down. Now I go to the other end, same thing. I snap it, lock I lock it, it and we're done. Saw. No tools <laughs> at all. Awesome. There's no screwdrivers and yeah. wrenches and nuts and bolts. You don't have to do any of that. Now you have that pole saw. You mentioned that it has that articulating head. What's great about that is that you're getting it in that perfect position to make it even easier to handle those branches. You're gonna love that. Um, I wanted to mention that 10 inch bar and chain, automatic oiling system. All you yeah. need to do is keep that bar and, and chain oil in and there. It's electric, it turns on and off. <laughs> it Every doesn't time. idle. Right. It doesn't sit there and idle. It doesn't put any uh, pollution in the air. You need to get this. If you use this once or twice a year, think about what you would cost you to have to hire somebody with a chainsaw to take a branch that's hanging over your house right. out of the way. You can do it. And remember, the reason we give you the pole <laughs> saw, we love it, is because you should never get on a ladder with any kind of a chainsaw unless that's what you do for a living. So when you get this at home and you're using the handle, I gotta move over here. Yeah, go ahead. I can't look at the no, sun. It's so hot. Go ahead, it's, Pete. The sun is really getting so. Show them how it works. Rest this down on the branch. Look at that. You mentioned it earlier. Just the weight of that saw. It makes yeah. it so easy. So. I find, Guy, that, and, and maybe Darren's, you know, seeing the same thing yeah. up in Vermont and different areas where you have a lot of property. Most of the branches that are going to cause you the problems going into right. the winter or even when the spring comes around, they're usually eight, nine feet, ten foot in the air. They're not 40 feet. If it's nah. 40 feet in the Who air, cares? you don't notice it. You don't know. So when you go through your walkway up to the front of the house or the driveway, those are the branches you notice, and those are the branches that you can handle with this pole saw without the ladder without putting yourself in a dangerous situation. And with a 10 inch bar and chain, these can be some larger limbs that you can take down yeah. with this pole saw. Pole saw, guy, how, we've offered a pole saw for many years. It's always been our yeah. most popular outdoor item. And I think I know why. 
because it's something that you've never wanted to try before. You didn't think you could handle it. They're a little it, scary. But, right, but Earthwise has made it just amazing that you can definitely handle this two-in-one pole All saw. Right, so I'm gonna update you on the quantity. <clears throat> At the $99 price, I have 260 left. It's $99. All right. It's it's good Peter, for you, it's guy. I bought. I paid. My, mine was $129, <laughs> and I work here, and mine was $129. So you're gonna get it for $99. It's even less than that on FlexPay. Dan, what's the FlexPay? 20, 20 bucks. $19.99 to get it home. Hey, by the way, you want to get this cheaper? Are we doing a $20 gift thing with the new credit card? All right. So how about we make it $79 if you get a new credit card today with HSN? Buy it right now, get $20 off when you get approved. Why not? Hey, by the way, I got pressure washer coming up. If you can only get one thing, don't forget that's coming. If you can only spend 100 today, you might want to get that. Extended returns, you can, you can return this pole saw in the end of January. You can use it all winter to take the branches off, to cut firewood. Nice. And, and there's nothing to be afraid of. In fact, when I, right. I always ask for callers, and do you know that 99% of my callers are ladies that are like, you know, the husband doesn't help out, or now, no, or the husband's gone, or maybe they, maybe they don't want to wait around. You live alone now, and you want to be able to take care of your property. Yep, this, you're exactly right, guy. It just makes it easy to handle. See, I like that. Even showing the pole saw, even cutting those limbs that are down low, because you know what's great about using a pole saw for those lower branches? You don't have to get close to the end of yeah. that chainsaw. So if you're still even feeling a little intimidated, use this as a pole saw, and you don't even have to get near the business end but you can handle these jobs. Yeah. Trimming, cutting, pruning, it's perfect. And in, in many ways, this improves those trees. It improves those, those different uh, smaller bushes right. and things that you're pruning back, and it makes the I, house and area I look great. I use palm fronds, because oh, those know. are so sharp. Down here in Florida. A, we have these little sticky, little prickly little things that grow on trees that you don't want to get near them. So I use the pole saw, even right. though I don't need to, because I want to stay away from, I want to stay away from all the little sharp things. But look at that, Pete. That's just crazy. I mean, look, look how nice smooth it is. Wow. And you can make cut after cut, guy. Yeah. And you can still hear how beautiful it sounds, how easy it is. Again, everything you need, automatically oiling that bar and chain. And I want to point out, you see in here, we've got these little teeth. Yeah. What they're gonna do is they're gonna, you push that close, you don't actually use the end of the saw, no, you, but you, you push you that saw on there, so those teeth are gonna lock into that limb and basically you're just you turning it. it down, Yep. right? Just like that, I lock those in, and now I can just move that down, and look at that. I mean, it is so smooth. You do not have to fight with this saw, and that's handheld. The same thing applies when you're using this as the pole saw. You're right. gonna love it. I'm gonna update you now. I have a minute left, so it's a minute or sell out here. We've got about 180 of these left, okay? So if you want it, it'll probably sell out by the end of the show. If you're looking for a great gift for dad or for grandpa, you know, you're not gonna go out and buy him a $500 chainsaw, right? I mean, he's, you're not gonna do that. What? That's, that's a waste of time. You don't need that need much. That, you don't right. need he doesn't it. need it. You buy a $500 chainsaw, you, you know, you're a landscaper, okay? But, but if he wants to get that, that tree trimmed up, heck, what about your Christmas tree when you wanna get rid of that at the end of the year? If you bought a live one and you wanna cut it up into firewood? Sure. You can do that. You know, these are the kinds of things, when you go to the tree farm, these are the kinds a lot of the guys have. They have an electric chainsaw. They're a lot easier. Yeah. You're not gonna, it's starting alone is you, you talk about that so many times with the yeah. primer bulb and then the starter and then you're pulling it. Oh my Here, God, it always starts. And look at this, zero tools to go from a chainsaw, handheld chainsaw, to that pole saw. And I'm telling you, once you learn how to do this, it is going to take you 10 seconds wow. to go I, back I, and You forth. know what? And it's funny because you get really good at it really quickly because you're gonna be using this on a regular basis. Right. And you'll probably leave it in the pole saw uh, uh, mode most of the time. I would say so. Anything you can yeah. cut, you can cut with a pole saw, even even if you're if it's close to you. Exactly. And look how look how high I've this fully extended. And now. you're a tall. You're six two or six three, right, Pete? I'm six one guy, but I appreciate you, that. You just you're growing. I think you're growing. <laughs> I'm still growing. Or am I shrinking? <laughs> one of the two. <laughs> I used to be like six eight. <laughs> Oh, well, no, the chainsaw but look at and how the much pole room. saw. Look how high you can go with that. I thing. would say easily for most of us, it's going to be 9, 10, right. 11 feet in the air. My man Dan said, Guy, we're going to add about 30 seconds to our clock. With everybody online, I have about 90 
of these, I knew it was gonna sell out. It's a great item. Hey, listen, I can't buy everything. I do have a pressure washer and I do have a pole saw. And if it wasn't for HSN, I wouldn't have either of those things. <laughs> I would just be watching the neighbor do it. And I'd be like, man, why is he so cool with his own pole saw? Why don't I have one? Uh, you're a cool guy, you've hey, got those. I'm a lot cooler Let's with a chainsaw. Let's do one more cut up here. Let's do it up here. Oh, God, I need the sunglasses you know when I I'm up there. I actually put it into the handheld mode. Yeah. And I just sit on my deck with it on Halloween. <laughs> it's a joke. I'm kidding. I'm just, I'm just kidding. That's I'm not definitely kidding. a different option. <laughs> you know. Uh, hey, listen. All right, we got to move on because we are going to sell out of that, but we'll keep you updated. Uh, Dan said I have about four dozen left if you want any more chainsaws. Hey, um, are, we gonna, are we doing solar lights a little bit later? Okay, we have a, a set of solar lights. And those are on sale too. This is the, is that the, I thought it was a six pack. It's six color modes. It's a 10 pack for $99.95. And these are not the cheapos that you buy at the home store. These are solid glass lenses. These are gorgeous. They have multiple color modes. You're gonna love these. Anyway, I got a 10 pack for you. Holidays will be here. You can even decorate your lights for, for holiday, right Pete, with the ch color change? You know it. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta tell you, that's a great deal. Do we have, um, what, what color versions do we have? We have it in Is brass? Is that the 10 pack? Yeah. It's the stainless and the bronze. Stainless and the bronze. Yes. Okay, fantastic. Look how beautiful they look at night. And I, I think those come with a remote control too, don't they? They do six different color options, sir. All right, we're gonna see those in a few minutes when we move inside. All right, so let's move to my other pick of the hour. And I will tell you, if you're watching me right now and you, and you, and you know you need a, a pressure washer, you're like, I've gotta get one. I've been looking, looking, looking. Look next to Pete over there, what we did with this price. I've never seen, have you ever seen a pressure washer on clearance? Never. I have not. I've not never this seen one. This is a good one. This is a really good one. It comes to us from Earthwise. Uh, 1,750 PSI, it is $70 off if you just buy this to wash your car or your RV or whatever it is you have, boat maybe you have. It is so worth the money. We're putting our left counter up and you see it's 386. That is gonna dwindle very quickly. First of all, a pressure washer is nothing to be afraid of. The ones that they sell in the, in the big, you know, home stores that are these giant things that are, you know, 3,500, you don't need that. You need to be able to get the dirt and grime off your house. You don't need to spend $400 on a pressure washer. This is 109 lowest price ever, five flex of uh, $21.99. And this has all the bells and whistles. And can, will you please tell everybody, this isn't hard to use. This, honestly, pressure washing is the easiest Easy. outdoor job you're gonna do. This one makes it simple because it's all right here. One single lance, and then you have the adjustable nozzle. So let me show you on this fence. I, I always like to start out showing this wooden fence. The reason being, this is something that without a pressure washer would be impossible to do. Look how we can take away years oh, wow. of dirt, grime, the weather that wow. has just damaged this wood. And you know what? This is so satisfying when you see instant results. That wood is brand new, guy. So if yeah. you have a wooden deck or you have a wooden fence and, and you're thinking it's time yeah. to replace it, don't yeah. do it. Grab this pressure washer, get it home, You'll be amazed at how remarkable, look how small it is. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, it is so small, so maneuverable. Give you an idea of the size. But look at that, even at that size, we still have an internal, it it's about 18 pounds. About 18 pounds, not heavy. But we still have an internal soap tank on there. All you do is turn it on, you attach your hose to the bottom right there, or bottom yep. left, and then we have a 20 foot pressurized hose. Rolls on wheels. This Easy. has everything you need. Oh my gosh! You know, right. it has everything. It doesn't have anything you don't need. We're already it down. Doesn't to, have, we're already down to 300. So I'm going to keep this cleaning this presentation. <laughs> okay. Well, I, we don't usually do pressure washers for about 100 bucks, so everybody wants this. <clears throat> Take advantage of that great deal today, and look at what you can do. And I will tell you too, you know, we can't. We some of the demonstrations that you see. You know, we, we improvise and we have to, you know, we almost have to make our, our stains and dirt. Right, right. This is really old wood. Right, with, with the fence, with an old fence like this, we can just go out and get a new fence every single time. So that is all real mother nature weathered yes. wood. And this is what it looks like new. Yeah, look, that is, that yeah. is a real old piece of wood right there. And it looks great. And I want to show you this, that adjustable nozzle. You see how I can make it wider? and then I can make it more narrow. And look at this, and even that laser jet point right there. So that gives you everything you need so you can control that power. That's 1,750 PSI. Yeah. 
It's so simple. What I'm holding on to is so light. You're talking about less than a couple of pounds yeah. in your hand. As soon as I let go of that trigger, it stops. It doesn't idle and run. There's exactly. no gas to put in this. It's another electric machine, right. so it's very efficient. No question. Yeah. And this, to me, is one of the important things, that 20 feet of pressurized hose, yeah. then you add your garden hose, and then we have a 35-foot electrical cord. So if you're doing this entire deck, you don't even have to move the machine. No. If you're doing your car, you can get all the way around the car. It is so simple to use. That's what you want, an effective pressure washer that's easy to use, that you know, that's not a big hassle to get it out of the garage, plug it in, put your hose on it, and you're ready to go. All right, so we have 365 hard quantity, but I have 200 people online. And they are, some of them are shopping for the chainsaw, which I will get, give you an update on how many are left of those. I think I have about 60 of those left. Uh, so if you want to get that, grab it. But here's what I love, Peter, and you're going to demonstrate next. If you need to wash like a large area, let's let's say your garage is covered in scuzz because you had a windstorm or something, Well, you right? never think to, to clean your garage, do you? Yeah. No, you don't think about it. Or you know what? It's How are you going to do it? No, let me do what I do. I have shrubs in front of my picture window, so I can't get a ladder under there. The only right. way to clean the windows is with a pressure washer. It's the only yep. way to do it. Look at that. Look at that. Windows, that, that. screens, and cleaning the windows and the screens. You don't even have to remove them. All the bugs and grime. You definitely want to do it now before the winter. And then obviously you're going to take it out again when winter's over and blast away all that. I think you're going to be amazed at what your house looks like or how much dirt comes off of that house yeah. after just one winter. So think about how long it's been since you've washed your house. Vinyl right. siding, aluminum, brick face, stucco. Look at that. And, and Peter, I would have to use a toothbrush to get up underneath, underneath you know, there. You just wouldn't do it without a pressure washer. But the best part about this pressure washer is there's a lot of hard jobs out you know, in your yard yeah. that you know, you can take a lot of labor. This is simple and you get a lot of great results. All right, I am down to 300. If you'd like to pick it up, only about 300 remaining. It's $109. I know normally you think that would be a flex pay on a fancy uh, pressure washer, um, but it's not. So when you see, remember, so when you see 332, I have 200 people shopping, so we kind of figure we've got X amount of people online buying that. So, um, but listen, if you buy it, like I said, just to wash your car, we're gonna head over there. Yeah, I'll grab this, Pete, and you head over there. It's ideal. Let me show you something else I love about it, is that it has the pistol grip. And if you watch, if you watch the unit itself, when I turn it on, and watch here, right here, you'll see instantly. Look at that, look at the seal on that. I'll hold it there, so you can see. No dripping. It only turns on when I squeeze the handle, and then it turns itself off. And you'll see here, watch. I'll put it right there. See that? So you're not wasting water. In fact, a pressure washer is so much more economical than your regular hose because it takes that flow of water and it compresses it down into that razor sort of beam. That's why you're able to get all the dirt and the grime off whatever it is that you're utilizing. I use mine, I have a, I actually bought, a, I bought this new material for a deck that's not supposed to get moldy or mildew. Actually, it's not supposed to warp, but apparently it gets mold and mildew on it. The only way to get it off is with a pressure washer. Bleach, there's no chemical that can get inside deep down in the pores of the deck material. This is the only way to be able to do that. You will love this. Now, I think, Peter, ready? It, as I said before, if you only buy it to wash your car, because Danny uses it to wash his truck, and you've seen Danny's truck, Pete, thing is a monster. The only way to wash it is with this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, guy. It makes it so easy. So you're right. You could get your pressure washer and just use it for washing the car. So look at this again. You can see that adjustable spray that I have. So let's get somewhere in the middle and get all the loose dirt off the truck, the car all around the wheel wells and the tires and the rims. But then here's the best part. Look at this. We've made it so easy. We have an internal soap tank. I've got the car wash in there. Watch this. All I do is pull that out. Now at low pressure, I'm going to be able to apply all that soap onto the car in seconds. Watch as it comes through the line. Now look at this. You are going to soap that up, let it sit for just a few minutes to kind of do its job. And then watch, all I'm going to do is pop that back in. And now I'm right back to full power to rinse off all that dirt and grime. The, look at the wheels. Getting those clean is so simple. This is the way to wash the car. But it's the car, the truck, the RV, the boats, even a lot of your fun toys, a four-wheeler, a motorcycle. Could be all of those things. You have a kayak at home or a canoe. This is so simple. It's a great way to wash it. You can get all the bugs off the front of the car. 
But then you're gonna keep going. I think then you're gonna walk around. Look at this, I'm so far from the machine with those 20 feet of pressurized hose. What about the patio furniture? Maybe you're getting ready to put it away. Maybe you wanna be ready for when you wanna take it out after a long winter. How would you clean this wicker without a pressure washer? Blasting all that dirt and grime out of there. It is such an easy way to clean. You are gonna love using the pressure washer. You'll go all around the house finding different areas and you're gonna love it. So all around the house, super easy. If you've never tried one of them before, this is the one for you. If you've bought one, or I should say rented or borrowed, get your own, you'll absolutely love it. Yeah, and with only a few minutes left, you better jump on board pretty quick. So I've got some pavers out here that I can clean for you. And that's really, when you gotta get down and anything you wanna get down on your knees to scrub, forget that, use a pressure washer. And watch this, and I am just gonna start at one end and I'm just using one hand. And I want you to see how it is able to get deep down into every crack, every crevice. I'll just clean this right here and we'll show you. And that's why, I remember, the closer that you hold it, the more powerful it'll be when you pull back a little bit. And I've got this uh, pulled back a little so I can get a wider path. But look at how great that is. And then everything is clean. And then remember what I said. When you turn it off, automatically it shuts off conserving you water. When you turn it on, automatically you get that power. And again, very easy. There's no real learning curve on this. You'll figure it out when you get there. The harder the stain, the closer you will hold it. Right. And that gives a real sort of a laser sort of a point. I do that, especially when I want to get into cracks and crevices, like along the grout lines, uh, you know, outdoors on your patio. That's how simple. And look at the before and after there, and that's how easy it is. It works especially great on brake dust. If you've got one of those cars like me that gets a lot of brake dust on the, on the rims, you don't have to spray any stuff on it. Use a pressure washer, yeah, it's I easy. Mean, you get obsessed with using, oh thanks, because you can go around the whole house. I particularly, we have some water that sits out in front of the front door, yeah. so that, that concrete walkway just gets a lot of black mold and mildew on it. You blast it away in seconds with this. Then you can do it on that deck and on the pavers, the driveway, the sidewalk, certainly the garage and the outside of your house. But think about those areas that just look really bad and you're saying, oh, maybe time to replace that. Before you replace anything, before you want to repaint or restain, yeah. always use a pressure washer and you will see a dramatic it difference. It really spruces up your property. Yeah. And you know what, Peter, I also find, there's reason to use a pressure washer year round. I mean, sure. no matter where you live, because even if you need to clean your windows, you know, obviously you need to wash your car even in the winter time, but even if you need to clean, fix your windows and your house off, you know, if you've got dirty, nasty, salted snow on your house, you can take this thing outside and you can do it in the winter. Doesn't matter. Exactly. Year round. No, you, you'll be using it all the time. Yeah. And I think you'll, you'll really enjoy it because it is instant results. And many times you forget, particularly for me, I have a, a yellow house, lemon yellow, Debbie it likes to say. It is a lovely so lemon yellow You don't home. realize how dirty it's gotten, but when you hit it with the pressure washer, it's amazing. And your walkway and your driveway, yeah. you forget that that's not the color. It's not a dark color. You hit it with the pressure washer, right. and it is a huge, immediate difference. Yeah. And I think that's what everyone loves about we're, it. We're gonna stretch this just another minute or so right, because I got some we more have stuff so many do. people that are calling to get it. I've never seen a price like this, and I don't wanna just sell you on price, but here's the deal. Let's say I just did, and I sold you on price, because you're like, all oh, right, I like it, it's cheap. Guess what? Use it this month. Use it all of November. Use it all of December, right? Just keep using, you're gonna love it. Use it in January. You know, even though it's clearance, you can still return it at the end of January. No other place is gonna do that wow. for you, all right? You go to retail, they're gonna be like, ah, oh, what? I don't even remember selling you that thing. <laughs> and here, you can return it because we have our extended return policy. Remember what Peter said, it only weighs about 18 pounds. Oh, it's, it's on nothing. wheels, so you can wheel it around. And all you do is plug one end into your water supply, and then if you want to put soap in it, put some soap in it. Yeah, do you know how that, here, here hold that for me. I wanted to show you, you know, so you think about moving it around and picking it up is really easy, setting it up. But I wanted to show you that, look at this. If you wanted to make sure that you had a spot to put it, look at that. It gets this compact when you want to store it away. This is where you're gonna have your hose hook up. It takes seconds. You can bring this out, you can set this up, and you're ready to go. And if you want to use this to bring it around, there's a place to coil up the extension cord in the back. You are going to love it. Yeah. And there's your soap tank right there. I mean, look how tiny that looks. It Scott, really, you remember it, when they were this big? Totally, dude. And they would tip over. I mean, well, these That's never are, gonna happen this with this. This is still very portable and very compact. It takes up a tiny nope. little space in your garage, but it does so much, it has so much bang on your butt. All right, right. 
Uh, we're gonna come back, we're gonna update you on the on the pole saw, see if we have any left of that. I'm down to the last hundred of these. We're gonna move inside. We got some cool lights and some other cool stuff. Stick around. Get the biggest compliments this holiday season with the Too Faced Pumpkin Spice Set, an HSN exclusive that you can't find anywhere else. Plus free shipping and four flex pay on the entire Too Faced collection. And don't miss The List tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern, featuring great giftables like these officially licensed NFL boots and Joan Boyce top. The joy of the gift, the thrill of the get. Find your Mary on HSN and HSN.com. It's Project Central around here. With just a little imagination, some of this, a bit of that. The possibilities are endless. Whether you're just getting started, or if you have a full room devoted to crafting, we have the supplies and ideas to help get it done. Say yes to crafting at HSN. It's HSN's Columbus Day Sale, and you won't want to miss it. Get four days of special pricing and exclusive offers, like four flex pay on all clearance. And get up to 30% off kitchen essentials from Wolfgang Puck. Plus, we have great deals all weekend long on your favorite brands, like Andrew Lessman, HP, Corez, and Too Faced. HSN's Columbus Day Sale, Friday at midnight. about shopping at HSN for the holidays? Oh, that one's easy. Flex Pay. Flex Pay is like Santa's little helper. It allows me to get everything on my gift list and make monthly payments with no interest or fees. Even if you're on the naughty list. I got a gaming system for my nephew, a pair of funky boots for my sister, and a little something just for me. Flex Pay allows me to be the best gift giver I can be without the worries of paying for all of my holiday shopping at once. Beat that layaway. All right, welcome back. We moved inside. Oh, it's nice and cool in here. A little it's warm a, out there It's today. a lot better in here. Woo! But anyway, uh, my, I'm here with my buddy Pete. Uh, welcome into our show, everybody. This is our fall cleanup show. Uh, trying to offer you lots of different things that you can utilize as we kind of move into October, November, and obviously the, the colder, the cooler months. This is a giveaway. We're doing another clearance. Remember what happened with the two power tools that we had basically on clearance? You get two. Two of these for $14.95. They're called our Thirsty Step Indoor uh, Doormats. Wow. So so these these are on the inside of the house, Pete. Yeah, exactly. So I wanted to show you, here's why. We're going into winter, and we're calling it the Thirsty Step, because this is going to really help at absorbing all that, there it is, you can see all that moisture right? when you come in to the house. You wanna wipe your feet, and also if you're not wiping your feet. So in front of me, I have another mat, and I know a lot of us do this. This might be your front door, indoor mat, Matt, sure. Because, you know, maybe you like the way this looks. Right. Right? So you like the way this looks, but as you start coming in here in the wintertime, you know, it's kind of funny that it has all these little, you know, kind of holes in it. So as I let that water um, on there, it's going to immediately start to go through and it's going to be down on the inside. So our mat, so I want to show you that. I'm going right. to keep pouring some water on there. That water is eventually just going to go right through there. Actually, it ran right off the end of the mat. Yeah. But now, when I show you our mat, here, what we have is this rubber backing. Oh, we even have some paper underneath there to show you that when we pour, pour the water on there, it's got nowhere to go. It's gonna be absorbed. Can you see this? It's almost like a carpet that's going yes. to absorb all that water. That's what these are, super absorbent fibers that are on that. And it is a, when you wipe your feet on this and they're wet, this does a tremendous job of keeping all that liquid in there and then it's going nowhere because of that rubber backing. Well, so think about your hardwood floors when people are coming in all the time with yeah. the wet, wet weather, yeah. it's trapping all that water. And just like the other one, do you see how it ran off the front look, of the other one? Look at underneath. And there's a lot of, we poured, let me, let me just, can you hear this? You can see my hand is soaked, right? Look underneath. It's, it's completely dry underneath because of yeah, that liner. This water was from that other mat. The water ran yeah. right off the front of it. Well, so it's a fantastic mat for that. So think about inside, especially if you have hardwood floors. That's always our concern, water on the hardwood. And you may have a mat outside the door, but that isn't doing enough. You know what, if, what if it's raining out and things like that? What do you do? You just run right into the house. Right. But here, just walking across it, it does a great job hey, Pete, absorbing me, that water. Let me give everybody the colors yeah, yeah. that are available. And please keep in mind that you get two. All right, it's a two pack. Each one of these is about 28 by 18 uh, in size. Um, it comes in gray, brown, or beige. And remember, these are actually 55% cotton in the actual material. The reason they did that is so that it is 
uh, not only is it an absorbent, but you can also wash this. Did, right. you, did I just say throw it in the washing machine? Yeah, so think about what? this. You've bought some, like even this expensive and they roll mat. Up. I had this, this other expensive mat right here. Compared to ours, it would be great if it worked with the water, which it really doesn't do a great job. And then, well, it, it takes up all that water. There's mud and there's Salt. grit and sand. Yeah. What do you do then with a mat that's mostly decorative? You can't do anything. Basically, you're replacing it. Ours, you're gonna throw them in the wash. I suggest getting it home, throwing it in the wash first thing. It helps to activate those, those super absorbent fibers. Yeah. And then it's gonna do even a better job at the water and the grit and sand. So we have some over here. You can see yeah, them down on the ground. Over. There's, there's the, all the different colors, but they're fantastic. I have ours. Um, in the garage, because we come in the garage, so Debbie will park in the garage, and then our car and everything's so all wet. So you have wet. it in there before you get to the yeah, door. Yeah, well, because there's a little step that leads up right. into the kitchen, and we have the mats there, and it does a great job absorbing all that dirt and mud and everything else. So even this, let's let's go on here, guy. I'm gonna, go ahead and I'm get gonna, dirty, Pete. I'll go step ahead. in there. I think we got some. You got some skin. That. You got some scuzz on <laughs> some, there. Go ahead. You got some, some scuzz on there. Guys, so here's what I love about nasty. this. If I was to just stand on this mat, you're going to see that it starts to absorb all that liquid. So then, you know, you can wipe your feet like normal. And that's what you want to do. Wipe your feet normally. And then let's see if this was our favorite carpet right there. And then it does a decent job immediately at getting right. all that liquid up, which is, I think, amazing. When you have something that can protect those floors, that can yeah. protect those, those uh, tile floors, hardwood floors, oh, yeah. the carpets as well. Having something like this on your carpets, if you have carpet immediately inside that front yeah. door. Remember, you are you are drying your feet off as you get in the house. So it's not this is not this is not. I mean, although if you had a covered area like like I do in my house, I have a um, I have a canopy out there on awning, so it stays dr relatively dry. I would put this outside or right underneath that, so I could dry right. my feet before I get in. I actually have one of your uh, one of your scraper uh, astroturf mats out there, which right, is the ideal. outdoor one. Yeah, that's a different whole technology. That's actually for reaching up and grabbing sand and debris and you know and scuzz off the bottom of your shoes. This is really the moisture barrier to keep that out of your house. Exactly. And the, and the same time with the sand and all the stuff that, that right. you pick up with it. And if you're thinking about this and you're looking at that size, it also makes an amazing mat for outside of the shower when you're stepping outside of the shower. Yeah, that's a really because good Because it's got that, uh, you know, you could absorb all that water and then you can like always... like it doesn't really, it doesn't move anywhere either. No, that rubber back, yeah. you can throw it in the wash. That might be number one, that it's a great size, it's a great look, and then you can throw it in the wash every single time. Yeah, and well, the rugs that I have that are, that are like shower rugs and things that I have in there, like, you can wash those, but, they're, but they slide all over the place. They're real <laughs> slippery. Oh, they're dangerous. Right. If you skip on one, you're going across the floor. It's like you're on a surfboard. So what's nice about these is you get, you, you're able to uh, cover that area. Everything stays nice. If you've got hardwood floors, that's a good idea because the little kitty cat paws when they come in. You know, your dogs will have uh, dirty feet and stuff like that. But wintertime, right? Boots, Winter stuff like boots. That. Yeah, and you need that inside protection. No matter what you have outside, I think it's definitely the way to go right. to have a really that great... Yeah, that Inside. was just a quick special on clearance there of only half, it's half price at $14.95. Nice. If you want brown, my producer uh, tells me there's less than 100 if you want to get it. Remember, you get two. So you get to put one in one part of the house and one in another part of the house, and they roll up really nice, but they're all washable. So throw them in the wash, and then you just, uh, it's just, just tumble them in the dryer like at a, yeah. a, like a medium temperature, not, not Definitely. Hey, how are we doing? Uh, let's do quantity. How many do we have left of the pole saw? All right, so pole saws. I got about, I got about about three or four dozen left of the pole saws. I can't even believe we still have that many left at that price. How are we doing on pressure washers, Dan? There is a dozen left of the pressure washers. Last call on the pressure washers. Just, I'm telling you, you're never gonna see a price like that again. You just won't. So grab it, and again, you have nothing to lose. Um, and the reason, like I said, I'm hitting price, because it's clearance. That's what it's about. You don't like it? Send it back at the end of January. Use it for three months and then send it back. Peter, time flies when you and I are together, doesn't it? It's Birdie in our last part of the show. I can't believe it. It All saddens right. me that it's almost over. Let me tell you, my good friend Peter here uh, oh, has uh, kind of made me, he, he, he kind of taught me a lot about I was about nervous lights. about what was coming. There, I wasn't sure what you. I was going to say, but <laughs> we've known each other for many, many years. So uh, anyway. And Do you I'm, know how long? Uh, let's see. It's got to be. 
That'd be 20 years. Yeah, it'll be 21 next month. You and me? Yeah. That's amazing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> amazing. We were like 11 when we met, by the way. And, uh, <laughs> it's true. Whatever. Um, and this is one of the items, you know, that we is, first yeah, started presenting together, present these together. color changing solar well, lights. Peter yeah. first, because Peter used to be a producer here many, many years ago. Uh, before that, he was some, some big top fashion model or something like that. I, <laughs> I, I wasn't concerned about that. But then he came and he started being an on air presenter. And one of the first things he did was these lights. And he used to come to my house and he'd make fun of me because I actually had lights that were wired and I had the wires running over the sidewalk and he's like yeah I, that's safe i do <laughs> remember he, that he was mocking me so anyway he, he kind of introduced me to the world of solar lights now our solar lights are like nobody's else's on the market these are not cheap plastic ripoff mo models that you get for five bucks a piece at the home store these are incredibly well made top of the line glass lenses metal housings the best solar panels in the business we are doing a 10 pack for $99.95, that is, we, you know, listen, when we do an eight pack for under $100, it's great. We're doing a 10 pack of these. These are our solar powered pathway lights. There's no digging, no trenching, no wiring, no nothing. You simply put them, you, when you get them, you put three things together and you stick them in the ground. It's all you it's need amazing. to do. It's amazing. They are, and what's nice about ours too is there, you can customize them for the season. So you can go all green on St. Patty's Day. You can go all red on Valentine's Day. For Christmas and Easter, you can go multicolor. And if you just love that beautiful soft white light, you can have that done as well. And I love the fact that you have a, you have a remote control. So if you do want to activate them or activate the colors, you can do that without going outside. But remember, what's nice about solar lights is they, they charge throughout the day, the sun goes to sleep, and the lights come on. Automatically. And everybody thinks you're home and your house looks safe <laughs> right. and your house looks great and your neighbors love you because you have a, they've done curb appeal uh, like nobody, else, uh, nobody else's business. So get them all you can. We have two color choices for the housing. Right, it's the bronze and the stainless. So the bronze is the 10 that we have in front of us, yeah. but they're all gonna give you this amazing light. Look at that color changing light that we have right that there. That is so cool. That is what started it all many years ago with Guy and I out here talking about these solar lights. But you have six different color options. So of course you could go with the, just the plain, I should say pure white that we have. Yeah. And then we have with this set, we actually have the warm white. Let me get over there and get some of those. With the warm white. That's the one this I like, will, yeah. yeah. this will match up with any existing light that you have, whether you have some incandescent lighting out there. Can you see the difference? That's a good close up. So there's the, white the light. bright white light. And then there's the warm. And you can see the reflection on Peter's yeah, shirt in the nice? background that shows you how pretty these are. They light up all the uh, flora, whatever it is that you have around them when they light up. And they're, they, they give you enough light so if, you're on, if they're on a pathway or a walkway, you'll be able to see. But really what's nice is you can put them anywhere. There's no restrictions other than you want them to get a few hours, at least four or five hours of sunshine every day, the more the right, better. Because right. that's they last longer when the, when the battery is charged up. Peter, do I have to buy batteries for this? No, the batteries will come installed and you could go many years Years without ever having to change these batteries. They're high capacity batteries that are charged from the solar panel every single day and then automatically the lights come on and we run the batteries. Yeah. You should expect eight hours of runtime every single night. You get a very bright light. And then my other favorite thing to say about these lights is that this is, these aren't lights, you know, because maybe people are thinking, well, wait a minute, it's October. Why am I going to put solar lights out right now? I mean, don't you usually, you know, buy them in July and they're done by September? Oh, man. Not these lights. These will be as close to your professionally installed lights as you can get, and yeah. they will, you can leave them outside. Start, get them home in a week, put them out there all through the fall, the winter time. Oh. Imagine what the color change is gonna look like with a layer of snow underneath. You oh. can leave them out there. Yeah. We, we've heard the only time they don't work is if the snow is deeper than 19 inches and they'll be covered. Just get out there As soon as the snow off. melts, they yeah. come right back on. And, and I will tell you, the light show that they present when, they're, when there's snow yeah. on the ground and, and or any time of year is amazing. As I said, you know, buy them, buy them for the, for the curb appeal and how beautiful they make your property. But right. also don't forget, they give you a great sense of security because they automatically turn on and when somebody walks by your house and they see light on uh, it's already it's, it's already sending a message that you know somebody's taking care of this property if I'm gonna break into a house I'll go to the one that's all dark and I'm convinced of that maybe you've got kids that live in an apartment and you just you know, want to add some warmth to the to the to the area you want to add some light make it look like somebody's there even when they're not you don't have to babysit these guys you you put these in you never have to deal with them again ever unless you want to move them or unless you move which is another nice thing about the uh, about the solar powered. If you move, you take them out, you unscrew right. them, put them back in the box, take them with you. Yeah, I mean, it's so simple. So if you're thinking about, you know, we, I've joked about this before, if you want to get your, your landscape improved and you really just don't have it where you want it to go and you haven't had enough time to work on it, you add the solar lights and it automatically looks better. If you've spent all summer long getting your landscape perfect, 
and you still don't have lights, if you add the lights, that'll be an amazing finishing touch. And it's the easiest addition, probably the least expensive, the least amount of labor, but it gives you so much improvement. Look at those stainless steel lights right there. We're talking about during the day, how great yeah. do they look? Having them on at night is almost an additional bonus. That's how great they yeah. look. Stainless or bronze, they look fantastic. Well, Four different display options as well. Do me a favor, Peter, too, and, I will. and take them apart and show yeah. me the, the, because what's really, really important about this, because you know, they got that beautiful steel pipe right there in the middle that holds yep. the whole thing together. Stainless but, as well. But talk about the individual features, because you can yeah. buy cheap, Absolutely. Cheap, you know what, crummy lights at a store, and you can buy them for it, five or ten bucks a piece. You know what, guy? If you went out there right now, I bet you could find lights, solar lights, for two bucks a piece. Yeah, they're cheap. Plastic. I mean, all plastic. Yeah. I, I guarantee you get a month out of them, and it just isn't going to be, you know, it's not going to meet your expectations. Probably these are going to be. in Florida. For right. These are going to be so great. <laughs> because of that improved solar panel, it's amazing. And then you have right there, that's the battery that's going to come installed, that high capacity battery already installed, ready to go. Even small touches like this diffuser that's on there to intensify that light. And there it is, three separate super bright LED bulbs. We're talking about thousands of hours on that LED bulb. And they're going to operate, they're each going to operate a couple of those six different lighting options. This all happens automatically because there's a sensor on the front. As soon as it gets dark, it comes on and it'll give you that eight hours of runtime. And then Guy, I know you like talking about this. When we start to talk about quality. Here, here, let me, let me try that. That's the, Wait, you try. That's the glass yeah, lens. My, 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 I don't know what's wrong with my hand. It doesn't make that's that noise. Right. Oh, I don't have a beautiful wife. <laughs> I, I, I said, I said. Wasn't expecting I said, I that. Said. But there you go. We've got, well, I do, I suppose, yeah. Uh, so you've got that thick glass right there. And look at all the detail work on that glass as well. It's beautiful. And then even, yeah. look in there, it's hard to see. But that's actually a, it's sort of a domed reflector that's look, in there. It almost looks it, like cut crystal, it, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly, that's what it sounds like, yeah, right? it really does. And it does. does such a great job at intensifying the light. And those those $2 lights we're talking about, typically this, this is a plastic lens. And what happens is it clouds over immediately. This is isn't gonna happen. You are gonna love these lights. I love the testimonials that tell us, not only is the light still coming on and performing great after years, but they still look great. The stainless steel looks great. The glass is still in phenomenal condition. That's why you're gonna love these lights, because this is an investment, not just for a couple of months or no, one season. Last this is years. for years and years, right? And Peter, you know what, it's something you can do. As I said, remember I talked to you earlier in the show, everybody, and I said this is about empowering yourself. Before you go hire a lighting expert to come to your house and give you a $1,200 quote on putting some lights out there, try it yourself, and, and, and really, when you see the reviews, there are 256 five-star reviews on this product. They're mostly five-star reviews because it's a customer pick. Um, I mean, it is it is huge. And we're reading some of them. Look at this, easy to assemble. Large lights, nice color change option. Uh, pretty design on the ground at night. Long-lasting battery. Everything we're saying, these are all five stars. And just, it goes on again. Uh, they add flair to the outside of the house. Your neighbors are gonna love you when you put these in. Trust me, my neighbor across the street, Don, is like, I love your up lighting on your house. Yeah. And I love your landscape lighting because it gives warmth to the neighborhood. All right, it gives, I mean, it, it says something about you, right? I mean, if your house is stark and cold and dark at night, kind of says something about it. First of all, it tells me maybe there's nobody there. Maybe nobody really cares about this property. Sure. But also, you live in a neighborhood. You have neighbors. You know, be neighborly and, and put on a good show. And when holiday comes and you got these beautiful, basically like Christmas lights on the ground because they light up in separate colors. Right. If, if, Everybody's going to drive through your neighborhood and they're going to be like, you don't even need to decorate. You already did. Can you imagine if, you, if you're just overhanging those Christmas lights? Right. And you can go out there with your remote control in about 10 seconds, you can be decorated for Christmas using this color changing. Or if you decide and you want to just do a bunch in red and then a bunch in the green and say you're done for Christmas, you can do it. I mean, it's that simple to and, do with that remote and control. You got, and you got till the end of January to yeah, try these. That's okay? crazy. That's we really are doing Nice. extended returns right now, uh, as you know, which means that there's no risk for you to buy these. And I'm telling you, because I think a lot of people may be buying them, might be seniors out there, and they're like, can I handle putting these together? Let me just tell you, my mom is 86. My mom could easily put these together. It's basically putting one screw in the back and, po and popping it into the ground. That's all you do. I don't, you don't even have a well, tool. No, right, no, there's screw. no screw. There's no it just, tool. It actually, I meant to be, say, it just pushes on. Pushes together, yeah. That's all you do. And look at the beautiful display that it leaves. So if you love, you know, if you love how your property looks, but you think you're missing just one little thing, add the lights, okay? I, I, for many, many years, Peter knows this about me, I was in the restaurant business, okay? And I would, I walked into a, that we were, I became manager of this northern Italian place, and I walked into the, live, the dining room, <laughs> kidding that, <laughs> I walked into the dining room, and I was like, there's no candles on the table. Right. I'm like, 
this is a romantic northern Italian. Why don't you have the cheapest thing? And they were like, we never thought of it. And then, so the owner comes over, we bought candles, put them on the table, and it was about 7 o'clock at night, and he walked in one night, and he goes, this looks like a different place. I'm like, yeah, it costs you about 30 bucks. For a great Jeez, atmosphere, a yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> no, he's not. But anyway, this is a way to really, uh, to, to bring light into your, or to the outside of your house and to do it in a real easy way. Right, and we also have mounting brackets so you can mount these on top of your fence post as well. So we're including those. So mount okay. them, put them on the deck, yeah. use this stake for the uh, pathway lights, but they're really versatile. All right. Peter? And the remote control. I love the remote. I, my, yeah. The ones I have don't have the remote. They go on automatically, but I'd love to be able to have the remote to turn them on and off too. Absolutely. And change the color. All right, $99.95 on sale today, so take advantage of our holiday price. Thank you, Pete, so much. It was a fun hour. Yeah, Thanks, great. Guys. We got the sweat outside and we bit. came inside. We helped a lot of people out. I feel good about it. All right, everybody, who's coming up next? Connie, Connie. Craig. We love Connie. Connie's okay. coming up next, and she's got the best value of the day. I'll see you all Friday morning. <laughs>